Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading from June 5th to the 7th. Yeah. This is for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cappies, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Please don't forget to uh, comment if this video resonates with you. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, the information to my Etsy shop, the link is in the description box below. That way this is more specific to your questions and your needs. Okay. I'm going to pull four cards here, Cappies, and then I'm going to get a channeled message for you from Spirit. Can I have three more cards, please? Or however many. Okay. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Hermit, and the, the Page of Wands. Okay, let's get this message from Spirit, see what's up. Settle yourself down, Capricorn, to a place where you can mm, retreat. They're wanting you to look within. That makes sense with the hermit here. A couple of signs got that, actually. But I'm feeling the, the energy level is, is high, which isn't a bad thing. But it's good that anxiety feeling mixed in so there this is why they say they want you to settle down and look within to sort of stop that so it doesn't get out of control and retreat back into the self okay thank you all right I feel, Capricorn, you will take this opportunity to be in this hermit mode, either that or you recently have, okay? Because your focus has been on stability. Your focus has been, what do I want? This is you, the king of wands here, and the page of wands. So you're being optimistic or trying to be optimistic about the future. You're trying to look into the future and say, what do I want for my future? What do I see? What do I feel? What do I desire? This is what, I mean, look at the determination in this king's eye. Well, it's not even his eye. It's his presence, right? It's just almost emperor-esque. Okay. You know, if he was the emperor, he'd be more laid back, like, I'm going to get what I want. I'll get it. Won't question it. Here, determined, and he'll take action towards it. This king of wands is creative, right? Energetic. Yeah, see? This is what I'm feeling with the energy. That's what I mean, Capricorn. I was feeling... High energy, which is the king of wands. High energy, that's action, right? And it's almost like by retreating and going into this hermit energy, you're able to balance. You're getting a great balance here with this Virgo and fire energy, okay? So you're grounding this energy. Okay, so let's clarify. Clarify this page of wands. The lovers. Well, soulmate twin flame is on your mind looking into the distance. I feel like you're healing right now from a broken heart.
could be from a fellow Capricorn, Capricorn, or this is just you. You could be looking at the toxicity of situations in love relationships. You could be looking at codependent uh, relationships and what you can learn from it. Because I do feel you're trying to learn about yourself with the Hermit card here. Which has really been a theme with all of the signs. So that's a good thing. So I just heard, what is tying you down? And this is what you're asking yourself. What is tying you down? What is preventing you from healing? What is, what is preventing you from loving? They just said. So what's preventing you from healing? And what's preventing you from loving? Is it you? Because this is you in the center, right? Interesting, Capricorn. Okay. Because there's like... Like with the lover's card, there's always that third energy that gets in the way of these lovers and comes in between. Now, you could be that third energy where you get in your own way. Speaking of the lovers, this is being in non-communication, but also healing. Also healing, which you have here. The hair font is clarified by the king of wands. So you're focused on what you want as far as this could be commitment this could be a taurus this could be spirituality this could be a higher spiritual calling okay that you're seeing because this is this is also tradition or non-tradition right going against the norm but it is the high priest to the high priestess it's like higher than the emperor okay so tell me about the hermit, the fool. You're thinking about taking a leap of faith. On what? What's the fool? What's the fool? Okay, whatever this leap of faith is, Capricorn, it's requiring transformation with the Scorpio card here. This is rising from the ashes. And this is also talking about stability, which I saw in the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, focusing on, yep, see? Building abundance, stability, and a past life soulmate. Possibly somebody from childhood, a childhood sweetheart, a relationship from the past. That's past life soulmate. That is very innocent, sweet love. So what is your advice, Capricorn? Okay. Get out of your head. This is a self-imposed prison. It's a prison of your own making. And only you have the key. So set yourself free. That rhymed. You gotta set yourself free, Capricorn. Balance is also a twin flame card of mine. But this is karmic justice. This could be actual justice if you're dealing with justice. But here I'm feeling karmic justice. Something's being balanced out, which is happening all over the place. Something may be at a distance with the three of wands here. You're waiting for something. Oh, they're saying wait. Okay. They're saying go on to more peaceful waters. There could be a third party relationship involved here somewhere with this. Okay. This is also the reunion card, but we've got three threes here. So that's third party. But so they're saying move on to more peaceful waters, whatever that is for you. Final word. Try to look at things from another perspective. This is the Pisces card. You may get what I'm feeling. They're saying some illumination when you're in the hermit mode. As you look within, as you seek this wisdom, okay? I feel that through looking through the eyes of the hermit, you'll actually gain, it's almost like they're saying hyper insight. It's like hyper insight into whatever situation um, or situations could be plural, okay? Whatever situations you are going within, it's like you're gaining this hyper insight. 
there's a word. So you'll be illuminated. You'll be illuminated, definitely. At the bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. And this will allow you to let go and release a burden. Just release something. Whatever it is you're reflecting on. Whatever's been holding you down. You'll be able to release this, which will then allow a flood of energy to come in. All the good shit. All right, Capricorn, I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. Have yourself a fantastic weekend, Cappies, and I'll talk to you soon.